Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubedium. Today we are looking at live stream devices, specifically the Video Go from Teradek. So if your camera can't live stream natively, meaning it doesn't have a USB-C port that can connect straight to your computer and show up as a webcam, you have a couple of alternatives. The most popular are intermediary devices that mainly work through HDMI. So you plug your HDMI from your camera into a Blackmagic video recorder or an Elgato unit. From here, you can live stream through YouTube, you can connect as a source to OBS, or you can go directly through Twitch. The problem with this is that often the video and audio signals arrive at different times, so you get audio delay. Or more commonly, the fact that you have to have a very long USB-C cable and that that USB-C cable can come loose, effectively ending your stream, means that this isn't an ideal live streaming solution for mission critical kind of programming. Enter the video from Teradek. This is a camera top unit that has an internal battery that you connect to the HDMI out of your camera. It then syncs with your phone to input your Wi-Fi details and connects directly to YouTube or Twitch or any number of streaming services and broadcasts the signal from the camera with audio in sync directly to the cloud. I got a unit on loan from Teradek and it took me about 20 minutes to work it out. Teradek actually sells a range of the video products. This is the Video Go, which is HDMI only and Wi-Fi only, but they also have a pro version that comes with the side units that you can put a SIM card into and it will work in combination with your Wi-Fi or if you lose Wi-Fi signal, will broadcast the signal over 4G or 5G. This is great if you want to broadcast from somewhere that doesn't even have Wi-Fi. You can just go over the cellular network. I found the quality to be pretty good, um, comparable to what I was getting directly connecting to my camera. It still isn't anything like the uh, megabits per second that you're gonna get if you upload directly to YouTube, because YouTube is where I used it. Live streaming just isn't able to deliver the same quality because it doesn't have the same bit rates, at least where I live. But you have to enable it to control your YouTube channel. You have to authorize it as a device for your Google account. Now, uh, having put literally years of work and hundreds of video into my YouTube channel and knowing people who got hacked and lost everything, you know, authorizing a product to uh, control your YouTube is sort of like handing the power of attorney um, of your business to somebody. You also have to do this every time uh, you authorize a new broadcast. That is my look at the Teradek video units. A great way to live stream from pretty much any camera from anywhere uh, with the minimum of fuss and technical equipment. Uh, you can find links in the description. Please leave your questions in the comments and I will see you next time.